Well, here we are right in the middle of the week. So let's go ahead and add our date. We've got a shamrock with a three on it because it is March the 3rd, 2021. Go straight up the calendar because right across the top of the calendar are days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, ah, today, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Looking at Wednesday, jumping backwards to find out that yesterday was t -t Tuesday. And jumping ahead to find out that tomorrow will be, oh, there's a digraph right there, a T and an H. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Tomorrow will be Thursday. So let's add that to our chart here. And let's read all of these sentences together. Yesterday was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Counting our days in school. Time to add another one. There we go. We have one 100. There's our 100. Two tens. There they are. And instead of one one, now we have two ones. Uh, 122 days of school. So we've got 100, 110, 120, 121, 122. All right. Back to addition. Back to addition. All right. This one looks pretty easy, and you probably know the answer before we even get started. But let's figure out how to write this equation. We're starting with two yellow donuts. So here is my two. We are going to add this pink donut to it. So because we are adding, we are going to choose the plus sign. We're putting something together. We're putting the yellow and the pink donuts together. So here's a one. So we have two and one. We need next the equal sign, which means the same as two plus one equals, I bet you can tell without even counting, it equals three. Let's check out our number line here. We'll start on the two. We're only going to make one jump because we're only adding one. So here we are on the two. Jump one, and that's three. Two plus one equals three. Checking out our number bond here. Part, we had two donuts that were yellow. We had one that was pink. So those are the two parts that we're putting together. When we have all of those donuts together, we have three. That's the whole thing. All together, there are three. That's the number bond. Let's check these subtraction jars. All right, now I have three cupcakes, and I'm going to take away two cupcakes. How many cupcakes do I have left? So let's write this equation. I started with three cupcakes. I took away three cupcakes minus two. And so now how many cupcakes are left? This one. So let's read this equation together. Three minus two equals one. Three minus two equals one. And let's just jump back and take a look at that number bond again. Three minus two equals one. Check out those related facts. Addition and subtraction are related to each other. Two plus one equals three. Three minus two equals one, using exactly the same numbers. And you can see how that number bond is really going to help us as we go from addition to subtraction and understanding the relationship between those numbers.